we need a plan of action to ensure the mass immunization. And that plan has to extend at least through the end of 2022. That is a logistical reality. Given the 8 billion people in the world, given the supply chains, given the time for scaling up, given the possibilities for mass immunization, this effort is going to extend through this year and to the end of next year, even if we do everything conceivable for scaling up, which we should. As uh, Dr. Tedros said, this is not only a moral imperative, it is absolutely practical. The more the virus circulates, the more the mutant lineages threaten the entire world with reinfections, new infections, work around from vaccines. This is something that is just sensible for every country to ensure that there is universal coverage. It's crucial to understand that our plans are not for universal coverage right now. COVAX, which is our best hope, it is our global multilateral mechanism, is aiming, even under its current plans, for only 20% coverage by the end of 2021. This is a stepping stone, but it is wholly inadequate. And we need to ensure that we are getting mass coverage by the end of 2022 with all urgent speed for scaling up right now. The reason I come into this story, since I'm not a virologist, I am not a, a medical doctor, uh, I uh, come into this story because I'm an economist and money matters. The reason we will not have scaling up right now is we do not have the funding committed for scaling up. This is shocking. We have created the so-called ACT Accelerator, which is to ensure access to the tools to fight COVID, including the vaccine component, COVAX. But this has not been properly funded. The ACT Accelerator that includes COVAX and funding for therapeutics and for PPE and for other commodities and logistics has a financing gap just through the end of 2021 of at least $23 billion. And when it's looked at carefully, probably $30 billion gap this year, then that only gets us a modest step to the goal of comprehensive coverage. We have another perhaps $20 billion gap in 2022. So we do not have the funding now in order to make the contracts, the supply chains, the scale up, the preparations, the ground level preparation for uh, the health workers to provide the immunizations, the logistics, the training, all the things that a normal planned comprehensive effort would entail. And for that reason, we must be prioritizing right now the funding of this effort with uh, full assurance, 40 to $50 billion. Now, I want to put that into context briefly. The United States is about to vote on uh, its third stimulus and support package, the, so the rescue package of President Biden. That's $1.9 trillion. That comes on top of a $2.1 trillion program last March and a $900 billion program in December. So it will be $5 trillion between March 2020 and March 2021, $5 trillion. Here we are looking worldwide for 40 to $50 billion. Do the arithmetic, it's two to 3% of what the United States alone is going to be voting. So we obviously have the funding, but our governments are not giving the funding. And then they pride themselves, well, we just gave another 3 billion or 4 billion. That is not an answer to what we need right now. What we need right now is a plan, a budget, and the commitments so that COVAX 
can make these supply contracts with Pfizer or Moderna or Novavax or uh, Sinovac or uh, the other vaccine producers. I'll end on this point. There is an extremely practical way to raise this 40 to $50 billion almost immediately. And that is that the International Monetary Fund is on the verge of voting a new special drawing rights round, which would create about $600 billion of new SDR, special drawing rights reserves. Many countries in the high income world have already told the IMF and the world community, we will recycle our new reserves into a special fund, perhaps $100 billion of SDRs recycled that could be directed towards the containment of the pandemic, which we know is not only saving lives, ending this scourge, but has the highest conceivable economic return imaginable because trillions and trillions of dollars of economic recovery depend on stopping COVID-19. So my proposal and my plea is worldwide call on the G20 and on the IMF, vote the SDR allocation, recycle the amounts to the high income countries, create special funding, empower ACT Accelerator and COVAX, enable a rational, comprehensive, just, inclusive, and smart plan for scaling up through the end of 2022 so that we get this job done. Thank you very much.